Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Helena. Welcome back to my channel, Helena's Astrophotography. Today it's a really, really cloudy wet day, so I do apologise in advance if your drips um, in the background. Um, there's rain coming in from the bottom flap, but the bottom flap's my only source of lighting, um, apart from the small lights around the rim of the decking. Um, so unfortunately that's what we're going to have to work with today, but I have got some kitchen rolled down, so hopefully that's going to soak things up. So today I thought I'd give you guys a video on my amateur astrophotography setup and equipment. Um, I've been in the hobby since January 2018, so over a year now, um, and I've built up my equipment um, over the months, so I thought it'd be interesting for you guys, um, maybe some of your amateurs out there that are looking for, uh, that are looking for equipment uh, to start off and don't know where to start, um, well this is hopefully going to be the video for you to give you a good idea on the basics um, of astrophotography gear. I'm really sorry for some of you guys who are much more advanced than me that probably have all of this equipment and more, but maybe there'll be one or two things in here that you might consider um, buying uh, after you've heard me uh, chat about them a little bit. So without further ado guys, let's get on to the video. So first off I'm going to start with the equipment so when I'm not shooting um, with my Canon, um, I'm shooting with my lovely GoPro Hero 5. Um, it comes on this little tripod, it's really useful, um, this comes with a kit. Um, and you can stand it up. Really cool. Um, this base, uh, this shell, if you like, uh, this comes off. Um, so when you're, so when you're wanting to put it back in the case, which is actually up, uh, up in the house at the moment, but when you're wanting uh, to put it back in the case like the hard shell case you take the shell off like that and you have your little camera it's quite a weighty wee thing actually um, for its size but it's great and um, the quality is amazing you can get up to 4k resolution um, on this little thing I absolutely love it um, so I use it when I need to shoot like two angles um, in my videos um, or when I'm out in the about or when I'm out and about like sometimes I'll put it on my bike um, and I'll twist around the handlebars and it'll look really cool for like a pan of wherever I am. Um, so yeah, this is a really cool um, piece of kit. I thoroughly recommend it. So I've got the GoPro Hero 5 Black. Um, I've got the Black Edition. There's grey and there's white, I believe. Um, but the Black um, is certainly worth um, the extra bit of money. So secondly, uh, when you're out um, in the night, you're obviously going to need something um, to see. Um, but a uh, normal white torch light that you might get on your phone um, or even on a normal torch um, isn't suitable for going out stargazing. Reason being it's not infrared light um, and it will damage your eyes. This is why I have this trusty head torch. This is a new head torch actually. I just recently got this. Um, and these little buttons on the top, plus and minus buttons, um, put the infrared light on and it does have a normal torch light for those nights that I'm not out stargazing um, and I'm just out maybe on a walk or something. Um, but yeah, so infrared, um, really useful for when you're out stargazing. It's a must have. Now I have to say, some of the equipment, um, this shows how much of an amateur I am, some of this equipment I have no idea what it is um, or what it does, so maybe if you guys could leave a comment down below and tell me what it does that would be ace. Um, obviously the equipment I've shown you so far um, I definitely know how to use, I know them inside out, um, but um, this little adapter coming up, I'm not really sure what it's for, so um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so this is the camera adapter 2356 and um, that's its serial number so if you want to go and uh, look it up uh, look up camera adapter telescope 2356 that should get you what I am reviewing right now so it's this thing right um, and it comes in two things it's four Canon cameras um, and I think it's to attach to a telescope. Um, I think it's to attach to different types of telescopes or maybe put a lens in, um, a telescope lens in as well as using your camera. There's a number of possibilities. Um, I'm not too sure because I use a, if you haven't checked out my last video on how to attach a DSLR to a telescope, um, I really recommend that if you're not sure on how to do it, um, step by step tutorial. Um, but I use my T-ring, which is on Luna at the moment, to attach my camera straight onto my telescope. 
Uh, so yeah, I use that. I don't use this. I've never used this. I'm not sure what it's for. Um, I'm sure I'll find out if one of you guys are kind enough to post down uh, down below in the comment section what this is for. That would be I'd be really grateful. Um, there's a number of things I can think um, that it could do. Um, but yeah. We'll come back to that one maybe in next week's video when I find out what it's for. But it's a really interesting piece of it. So before um, I get to show you guys all my lenses um, and stuff, I have this thing from Relevation Astro. Um, and this is a really important piece of equipment when you've got a reflector telescope um, like mine. This is a collimator. So it aligns the mirrors um, in the telescope. Now, I thoroughly recommend you get one of these um, if you don't have one already, if you're using a telescope like mine, because um, when the mirrors are out of alignment, um, and even when the finder scope's out of alignment, um, that's a whole other thing that you have to align the finder scope. But say like you're looking something, uh, you're looking uh, through the finder scope, and you've found like the moon. Um, and it's in the two um, crosshairs um, in the finder scope in the middle and it doesn't come up in the lens that means that your finder scope and your lens aren't aligned and it's really important that you get that done um, that's a whole other thing you might um, in your telescope manual it might tell you how to do that it did in mine um, that was really good and I found it really informative um, but yeah this is to align the mirrors um, so there's a primary mirror that I normally align maybe once a month um, I should probably align it a little bit more, but it depends how much I'm moving it around. Again, my dad's kindly built Luna um, a little stand um, so that she's that bit higher um, off the ground, so she can get um, she can view through the bottom flap without having to without us having to move her down um, into the garden. That's going to shake things about if she's being moved around. Um, but hopefully having this stand is going to prevent that. Um, it's really useful, and hopefully I'm not going to have to align the mirrors as much. Secondary mirror, um, it's a really complicated thing to align. I myself um, have a really good friend um, that comes and does it for me, but he's teaching me how to do it, which, which is really kind of him. Uh, he's teaching me um, how to get it done, uh, so uh, I'll hopefully be able to do that by the end of this year by myself. But yeah, I recommend you guys do that maybe once a year, um, but if you've been moving it about a lot, maybe twice a year, um, it really depends on how much uh, you're travelling uh, with this. Now you may be wondering, Helena, how do I attach the collimator to my telescope? I have you covered. Barlow lens. <laughs> so a Barlow lens, um, if you're using it with a normal lens, um, it depends what kind you've got, but this is a two times Barlow lens. So whatever your lens's magnification is, that will double it. Um, so it will be uh, double the magnification than your normal lens if you put it, um, <coughs> excuse me, in this little cap here. So there's a little cap that you just take off it just comes off like that and your lens or in this case my collimator goes in here and straight into the little um, lens adapter onto the telescope really handy piece of equipment and um, again I think it's a must-have and um, definitely well definitely if you've got a collimator because you're not going to be able to attach your te um, your collimator if you don't have one of these but again, for observational astronomy, really useful thing. If you want to get real close-ups on the moon and stuff like that, it's awesome. Thoroughly recommend it, especially if you're just starting out. Because that's what I did when I was just starting out. Like, I maybe, like, looked at, um, at the craters of the moon or something um, and uh, studied them a bit more. And that's how I basically got into it. And that's how this whole thing uh, started. So, yeah, definitely recommend getting a Barlow lens. We're going to move on to the more lens side of things. Uh, so, I got given in this um, Celestron wide-angle lens um, for my birthday last year when I started getting into um, astrophotography and astronomy. This this one was more obviously for observational um, astronomy but when I get like adapters to put lenses onto the camera to go onto the telescope um, this one would be really good. Um, I've looked at the Orion Nebula through this um, lens, it was fantastic, um, loved every moment of it, it was great. So as you can see, it's really, really wide. Um, it's got this lovely orange lining around it. Um, makes it look really snazzy. Um, it goes really well with the um, Celestron logo as well. So I want to get more. I want to have more chances at using um, 
that uh, definitely in the summer um, for observational um, astronomy. And I'll hopefully video that for you guys to see. And lastly, um, I'm not going to be doing Luna today. I'm going to be doing her um, in a separate video. I'm going to be doing a review on her. Um, so make sure to stay tuned for that um, in the upcoming weeks. That should be um, coming out fairly soon. Might even be next week's one. I don't know. Um, we'll have to see. But um, this is my box of telescope lenses. So in this box I have a 12.5mm lens, a 17mm lens, a 10mm lens and a 7.5mm lens. I also have an infrared torch, it also shows normal torchlight, um, a bit like my headlamp um, but this shows infrared so I have two torches which is really handy especially if I'm coming out with other people then they can take a look without shining their white torchlight um, into my field of view which will make it hard for me to see and then the other thing that I really need to start looking up and learning about is filters so I have a red one, a green one and a blue one um, and a blacky grey one um, so I have RGB uh, filters um, if you guys could comment down below and tell me what I can use these for um, I know a little bit about narrowband filters and RGB filters I've done a little bit of research on them but if you guys could let me know the gist down below that would be really good um, and I can get caught up with all of that in the weeks to come just before I go I want to thank all of you guys that have shared, liked, donated, commented um, on my Indiegogo campaign um, I shot a video um, a couple of weeks ago um, on the launching of it um, it's launched, it's been launched for a week, it'll be a week tomorrow um, I've had, I changed my target to £800 um, and I've absolutely smashed that um, and uh, we've got 1,000, I think it's 1,032 so um, 100, we're at 129% I cannot thank you guys enough um, the campaign's going to be open I think it's for 25 more days um, to this day so it'll be different on Wednesday um, it'll be about 20 days um, on Wednesday um, and it's going to be open so if you guys um, haven't checked it out make sure to check it out and share with your family and friends um, even though I have still got over my target um, you still can donate um, because um, any other, any extra money um, I will put aside towards other equipment like CMOS cameras, CCD cameras and the ASI Air um, I don't know whether you guys have heard of it, it's an awesome thing, I did some research on it and um, I saw a little article I think it was about it um, a couple of weeks ago and I was like oh my god um, it's this little box um, by ASI and it acts as your computer so you connect it uh, to your telescope uh, and your mount and you can connect it to your phone via Wi-Fi and then you can um, change settings and control things from your phone uh, or your iPad or whatever um, that you use which I think is ace so I was looking at them generally just lenses and um, maybe even like I can save up for like trips out to astrophotography tutorials to um, enhance um, my learning um, but yeah I'm just really grateful to everyone that has contributed um, and shared uh, my campaign. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you found this uh, tutorial um, informative, um, especially for you guys that are amateurs like me out there that maybe don't know where to start um, with equipment. Um, hopefully this video has given you a little insight into what um, equipment and the basics of astrophotography gear and what equipment to buy. Um, I really hope it has. Um, for you um, advanced astrophotographers and astronomers that are watching, really sorry um, but I thought this video would be really good for amateurs um, out there that are just getting started. But hopefully you guys that are more advanced have found some equipment within this video that you might consider um, investing some money in. The cloud's really coming over now and I think I just heard some thunder. Um, I think I just heard some thunder so I'm just going to go and um, I'm going to shut the den flaps. Um, and head off and edit the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, happy stargazing.